This will be a very big weekend for bars near LSU with the Tigers on TV right here on WBRZ and students back on campus. News 2's Sarah Gray Barr reports on safety concerns. For students, this is the first Friday of the new school year. For Crescent Crown distributors, this is the start of a very busy delivery season. With this truck alone, we've pushed out maybe over 5,000 cases. With 12 to 24 beers in a case, Perez's truck has dropped off between 60 to 120,000 beers. He says with large amounts of alcohol comes large amounts of crowds. Bars in the area agree. Fred's told News 2 they're expecting between 500 to 1,000 people to come through. And if the game was at home, they would see even higher numbers. Considering there's... 30,000 students, um, I, I think we'll see about 10% in Tigerland this weekend. I would say probably another 15, 20% might be in Vegas. Regardless of numbers, the safety measures are similar. Nay says the bars pooled funding to hire six off-duty police officers to watch the media and make sure people don't drive drunk and handle disputes, as well as bringing in waters to pass out in food trucks. BRPD says they're bumping up patrols this weekend. We're going to be out there. We're going to have officers working the streets. We're going to be out there looking for impaired drivers in our attempt to make sure the city streets are safe. Several students told me they feel safe at bars on campus. I mean, it's not too far from the campus, so I felt really safe when I went. Nothing like crazy happened there. But, but there's always room to improve. It is kind of a journey to walk back, approximately 30 minutes. And so I just feel like LSU or the city could... Uh, do more with like offering transportation back. In Baton Rouge, Sarah Gray Bar, WBRZ News 2. BRPD intends to maintain more patrols this weekend and for all home football game weekends as well.